Hi everyone, it's Joe from Lucas Liquors with and Kent. Kent, how you guys doing today? You guys know and love Kent. He's one of our wine gurus, and I say that because he really does make, he buys us great wine at great value. And what we want to do today is we want to just talk about reds, the different types of reds, you know, a little bit more of just to learn the process. So Kent, tell us, what's the first two bottles we want to talk about today? Pinot Noir, okay? This is going to be one that is really, really driving the wine market right now. Pinot Noir is a pain in the butt to grow, so it's hard to grow, and that's why it's expensive. You're going to pay a little extra for Pinot Noir, where a Merlot or a Cab from the same area with the same quality is probably not going to be quite as much. We're showing just two styles here. One, a Willamette. The other one's from California. The Willamette style is definitely the Frencher style, the drier style. It's going to be a little more acidic, a little lighter in the glass, and a little less fruit forward. Stuff earthy. from Cal Yeah, exactly, Some a little earth. more earthy. Stuff from California is a little more berry forward, just a little more fruit, a little softer, a little silky on the tannins. The tannins on the stuff from Willamette is a little more a little grittier, a little more earthiness to it. So that's kind of the, the two differences in the main American style Pinot Noirs. So let me add something in there. So tell us when we're cooking, yep. okay, and I love, I love having wine with food. Mm -hmm. And this is where we learn, right? Kent's an expert on this. this I kind of drink, I screwed up. So, so we don't screw it up. What do we have Pinots with? Salmon. If you pair this with a salmon dish, it rocks it. It loves that kind of redfish, the stuff with a little bit of oily to it. Burger fry all day with this kind of stuff. It's a little, it's a little light for steak. It's a little light for pork. You can do it with like a pork medallion, something like that. Brilliant with that style of, uh, Excellent. of food. Chicken as well. Stuff that doesn't like tannin. Turkey doesn't like tannin. Pinot Noir pairs brilliantly with that. And, uh, and a couch. Oh, most certainly. We love it with a glass. That's the way we do it. Okay. Next up, we're going to do Merlot. Okay? okay. And again, I just pulled two different Merlots. Um, the Barlow Merlot comes from a, a very small winery that we really, really love this stuff. It's, it's 23 bucks, so it's a little more expensive. The Black Diamond's closer to 15 Again, just showing two different Merlots. Same type of style. One is definitely going to show way more richness and a little more round and plumpness in the mouth than the stuff that's going to be at 15 bucks. That's what you're paying for at a $20 bottle. Merlot, soft, supple, supple on the tannins. It's going to be really silky on the finish, and these are fruit forward wines, okay? And they're way more delicate than a cab will be. A cab's going to smack you in the face. This is going to smack you just like your grandma would, just to pinch your cheek a little bit. That's the way I would describe well, a Merlot. I, I want to, this category gets speed up. It does. You know, a lot of people, I don't drink Merlot. I tell you what, as I've learned wine over the course of my life, there's some great Merlots out there. Even uh, a lot of people drink Silver Oak, right? Very high-end wine, beautiful mm -hmm. wine. Toomey is their, they have a sister vineyard and they, they do Toomey, which is a Merlot. And it is spectacular. It's stunning. This is a spectacular Merlot. I think it's a category, we gotta get it back on a tasting exactly. counter and get a lot of people to better understand Merlot. And when, when Kent says it's fruit forward, it's not sweet wine. No. And I think that's the biggest misconception. When we get in the wines, that means there's just a little bit more fruit forward on you feel it and you taste it right. on your tongue. Or if we have a, a, a different wine, you'll have a little bit more earth or spice. Exactly. That's exactly. what we're talking about. Okay. And, and next up is Cab. Oh, I love Cab. Cab's. Cab's the king. <laughs> Cab's the king. It rules the world. Okay. It came from France originally, like everything else we're going to talk about today, except for Zinfandel. Um, this is going to be a high tannin. Why does a, why does a cab go with a steak? Steaks have fat. Fat loves tannin. Tannin loves fat. So they kind of come together beautifully. We need something with a little more richness, a little strength to it. Cabs show that. These are usually not all that fruity, okay? But they definitely show a lot of texture in the mouth. And so that's what we're looking for, that acidity and that overall texture that plays brilliantly with anything that's got some fat to it. So that's why we pair cabs with steak. Yeah, I think one of the things that I always think when I get to a cab is it holds on. So no matter what I'm eating, it blends. Within reason, I mean, it, it could overtake a lighter food. But a steak, I like having cabs with pizza, right? There you Pasta go. or a Chianti or, you know, I could go off, but a cab, for an American wine, 
absolutely stands up with these foods with these heavy fats and spices. So, or a Zinfandel, and we're gonna go there. Right. But Cab is one of my favorites. By the way, just a shout out to Lost Chapter. Great job on getting that bottle. We love that. One of our big bottles this year. Um, it's it's become a favorite for us as well. Big bottle I mean, this it's year. It's a beautiful bottle for 20 bucks. It's showing okay. really well. Now we're gonna go into Zinfandel. My Go personal ahead. favorite, I love Zinfandel, I love Syrah. These are wines that I, I, I love, because to me, these are sit down and drink wines, okay? I'm showing two different styles today. The Moss Rocks is made like a Zinfandel. It's soft, it's pretty. It'll go with anything you want it to go with from a glass, chicken, you can put it all with that. The Buran is made more like a cab. It's got a little more tannin, so it sticks in your mouth. You can do that with a steak. It will definitely play with a ribeye and do it really well. So two different distinct style of Zinfandel. Zinfandel is high alcohol wine. These are 14 to 16 percent across the board. It handles the alcohol really well. So if we had a, a 16 percent Merlot, it's going to taste at the end. It's going to taste like alcohol. It's going to burn. With the beautiful supple tannins in a Zinfandel, it kind of hides the alcohol and it gives us a little more oomph on the back end. So when I'm eating food, I, th I, I tend to have Zinfandels when I have spicy food. Most certainly. Why is that? Because it, it's a little bit. I'm going to use the word fruit forward, sweeter, okay? Sweet loves spice. Sweet Those spicy. go together really, really well. Okay. So it, that's why if we're going to do a, an Asian dish, something like that, and you want a red, Zinfandel is the way to go. So, Absolutely. Awesome, guys. Hey, thank you very much, everybody. Definitely subscribe to our YouTube page. Um, I'm Kent. I get to be the wine buyer here. This is Joe. He's the owner. He thinks he runs the place. We know who runs the place. We got it, guys. Kent does definitely run the place. Hey, thank hey, you, guys. Remember, thanks for shopping at Lucas one bottle at a time. We truly appreciate your business. You guys have an awesome new year. Thank you. Thank